automobile accidents, bicycle accidents, a hard fall while skiing, a trip and fall onto concrete, all can cause a potentially devastating traumatic brain injury, or TBI. Approximately 1.4 million Americans suffer a TBI each year, of which some 300,000 are classified as severe. It's the number one cause of disability among those under age 35 in our country, and it leads to 99,000 cases of lasting disability every year. Survivors often suffer major, lifelong impairment. In a traumatic brain injury, damage to tissue and swelling inside the skull can block the flow of red blood cells to the brain. With the blood flow blocked, oxygen cannot get to brain cells. Without oxygen, brain cells die, leading to long-term brain damage. But there's a potential treatment, a drug under development called oxycyte, that can get oxygen past the blocked red blood cells and keep oxygen flowing to the brain of TBI victims. Dr. Bruce Spies is in the forefront of medical research into treating TBI victims in those critical early hours. Oxygen dissolves tremendously in oxycyte. So oxycyte works by filling in the little holes in between the red blood cells and the cells of our tissues and essentially makes a conduit for oxygen to get from the red blood cell to the target tissue. And so if we give oxycyte, the, the particles of the oxycyte are so small that they can get in and around and beyond areas that are clogged with a, with a blood clot type of situation and actually transmit oxygen where red blood cells can't uh, get to in the body. So we've learned that the key to salvaging brain tissue after a traumatic brain injury is how fast we can get oxygen into the microcirculation. We found with oxycyte in a number of preclinical studies that we can salvage somewhere between 40 to 70 percent of brain tissue that would have otherwise died had, the, had oxycyte not been administered. Traumatic brain injury is also a serious problem confronting American forces serving in Iraq and Afghanistan due to explosions from improvised explosive devices or roadside bombs. There were an estimated 360,000 such blast-related TBI injuries among American military personnel between 2002 and 2008. Of the military forces who sustain a severe TBI, 50% of the survivors will be left with major impairments. Think of the benefit if medics carried oxycyte, or if it were available at combat support hospitals in the first hours after the injury. We believe we owe it to the brave men and women serving our country to provide a first-line treatment that could not only save lives, but also prevent the devastation of long-term brain damage. But TBI isn't the only potential use for oxycyte being explored by the U.S. military. The Navy is studying it as a treatment for decompression sickness, or DCS. In a submarine rescue or a dive accident rescue situation, and you're deep in the ocean and you surface too quickly, your body will become super saturated with nitrogen. Super saturated gases bubble. And when that happens, you get decompression sickness where bubbles of nitrogen form throughout the bloodstream. Those bubbles of nitrogen can block blood flow and tissues can become ischemic or lose their ability to have oxygen delivered to them. Oxycyte works in two wonderful ways here. Not only does it deliver oxygen where blood flow is decreased, but it also appears to absorb the nitrogen out of the bubbles quite effectively. So we get a double therapeutic advantage from having oxycyte on board in the face of decompression sickness. Just as soon as the patient or the victim is rescued and brought on board of a, a ship standing nearby, oxycyte would be administered intravenously probably over 10 to 15 minutes uh, wherein it would circulate throughout the body, rapidly equilibrates throughout the whole bloodstream and the tissues, and immediately it would start to change the body's ability to absorb and transport nitrogen. And av as every time the body circulates, it would deposit nitrogen in the lungs and the patient would breathe off the nitrogen. Oxygen Biotherapeutics Incorporated is developing oxycyte for TBI and providing it to the Navy for DCS. And they're a driving force in the creation of the Purple Heart Injury Laboratory, or PHIL. 
Phil's mission is to restore life to injured U.S. warfighters through innovation and collaboration, to research battlefield injuries and find novel cures in combat casualty care, and to leverage academia, industry, and government to rapidly translate new technologies to life-saving uses. Oxygen Biotherapeutics Incorporated, along with medical researchers such as Dr. Bruce Spies and others, are leading the creation of the Purple Heart Injury Laboratory as a medical research incubator that supports the development of new technologies and therapies for healing battlefield injuries. <laughs>